here we are in Riverton, which is, you know, it's a it's a pretty well. We're doing okay out there. There's not a lot of, you know, bullying. I guess. Or it, are you seeing uh, that with the kids? It's actually, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I if you go off that kind of bullying, I I have my uh, things. I <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I wish schools would actually let martial arts in. Yeah. Schools should actually should be a sport. It should actually be a sport. You like know what? PE. It, 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 yeah. They let football. They let wrestling. To be honest, those are more violent than even martial arts is. Yeah. And uh, the way I look at it is if and it, let's go back. Uh, let's go back to uh, let's say tr- uh, Japan. Martial arts is part of the system. And how would it be if all of a sudden you're getting bullied, and you're all being trained, but people learn different have different skill levels, different like sure. they don't learn. Oh, they could learn the same thing, but this person might know how to apply it better than this person. This person might know how to time it better than that person. Yeah. So imagine if all of a sudden you go, you're getting bullied, and this kid goes, oh, I'm being bullied. All right, let's fight them. You don't know their skill level. You don't know their skill level now. But the, the assumption is that everyone has a skill That's level. That's the point. Now everyone has a skill level, so you don't know. But, okay, instead of going, okay, let's just, we need to stop bullying. What happens if we, these kids were confident enough going, hey, I do know how to fight. Yeah. I do know. That's why I think there has to be assumption. There would be the assumption that they know something. <laughs> yeah, and, and going, might, they might be better than me. I might be bigger, but well, and I think it's even if you take it one step further. What you learn in martial arts is you, there's somebody out there that can kick your ass. Yes, there's always, always. someone better. And there's so the always. humbling mm-hmm. that comes from it. You take the the lower level of the, of kids fighting with kids. Yeah. the teacher in the class is going to be able to take care of you, and yeah. you learn that, and so it humbles you. The jiu-jitsu is one of the uh, yeah. jiu-jitsu is one of the most humbling experiences I've ever had. There are people that can kick your ass, and they're this big around. Yep, I've been strangled out by a little girl oh, yeah. all the time. You learn that stuff, and then it prevents That's fights and bullying exactly, from happening. Exactly, because they believe they can do. I go now. I know. I know what to do. Right. So th- when you say bullying, I that's where I I I might go a little bit against school systems. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like how they're doing it. Well, let's it. let's talk about the fitness aspect of it. Like mm-hmm. what what um, you know, I enjoy I enjoy picking up and putting down heavy. Oh my fields. gosh, yeah. It's something that really does for me. However, I'm not getting the cardio that I need, or the stretching, or the um, I am my. <laughs> well, you said it. Where's my hands? Like my. Uh, Where's your dexterity? My and dexterity. Yeah, okay. my my ability to control my body is not being trained at all. Yeah. Who are you looking for? Because I've seen you look into those cart there. They're doing the, oh. the, the classes at the gym. <laughs> and great. he's just like, this drives me nuts because oh, they're in there yep. dancing around. I, you know what? I, 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 you know, like, okay, let's put it this way. I, I've been doing my style of martial arts and uh, I watch the people at the gym. I'm glad people are getting out and doing stuff. Anything. Any martial arts, I don't care what it is. Yeah. Because I even have my uh, ups and downs about some martial arts styles. I'm like, eh. But I, I um, I think people just understand, just like you said, doing, understanding what they're doing, the art or anything. That's where they just getting out there and doing something great. But I want people to understand. It's like I had a lady yesterday I was teaching. <clears throat> she goes, what happens if I'm carrying my, my, my purse and someone grabs it? I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's what you want. Yeah. And she's like, you want him to grab your purse? I'm like, yeah, he just tied up one of his limbs. Or she did, whatever. Mm-hmm. Now you all you got to turn around. You don't have to deal with that limb anymore because he's holding you. Then you can take him out because you're right there. He's right next to you. He's in your bubble. Then you can just – oh, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I like it. This that's is great. It's about. so cool because like, that that's all part of it, right? The, that moment of thinking when that happens, instead yeah. of just going straight to panic, if yeah. you've got a little confidence in what That's you're doing, the point. you yep. can take two <clears throat> seconds, think about, oh, hit limbs yep. tied up. I can do something here. Yep. It's cool. As long as, see, and that's, so reading all the history and all this stuff, it's like one of my biggest, like, I want people, I don't care what, like, how we do it. Like, I want to get this out to the world. Like, how do we get people to just go, I want to train for at least two years. Yeah. Two years of it, actually, a little experience, that's all it takes. Me, I, I'm like, I want people to train for 25. It should be part of your life to me. Um, but if they had the confidence just to go, hey, someone grabs onto me, turn around, just smack them. Yeah. But most people freeze. And that's where the situations right. happen where I got attacked. I got. Well, that's know. what Conor McGregor said. He said this somewhere. The difference between really good elite fighters and, and guys that, that can't do mm-hmm. it is two seconds. That's all it it's is. It's two mm-hmm. seconds of thought that happens before all of this stuff takes place yep that's the difference uh, yeah you're just reacting right that's it's like if you see 
Um, it's like if you stand there, they're going to punch you. Right. But if you can actually just move to the side, put an arm up, hit, the, it's that fast. Well, you, if, so. if you know that stuff, too, yeah. like the angle, he can't touch me here. Uh-huh. If I take one step this way, yep. I'm safe. And knowing that is so is that, empowering. That, it's and awesome. That, and that, that's, it's just being light on his feet, moving around. Right. Like him, Rob and me being even fighting, it's fun. I'm like, you and me are fighting today. He's like, okay. And we get in there. We have a blast. I'm like, dude, we're going to get in there. I kick him in the gut. He's like, whoa, what the heck? I'm like, okay, now you got to try following up. He hits me with his right arm because most people are right-hand dominant. So right. it's real easy to know how to fight people. Right. Lefties, yeah, they're actually a little bit harder because you're not expecting. There's only what? It's like 20%. I right? No, I think it's more than that, but it's not a huge percent of lefties. Right. Uh, I think it's like, uh, what is it, 83% is right you got 17% left. So th- not, not too many people are going to use a left arm. So you already know. You, there's, there's 50% of your fight right-handed. Right. Now you know they're going to attack more right-handed. And where's that hand at? Exactly. Is it up or is yep, it down? Exactly. Is it coming straight or is it going to come around at you? <laughs> yep. If you and know mo- that, and the it's, defense yeah. for it is pretty well, easy for a street yep, fight. It yeah. really is. You can see it coming a mile away, especially when most people throw hook punches. Right. Because they all load up yep. right there, and it's coming around yeah. here, which it, leaves a big old void right up here funny. in the front. I, I think, I think uh, Rob and me were working out one time, and then I go, watch this, dude. I'm going to throw a hook punch at your head. I'm going to hit you if you don't block it. Okay? All you got to do, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Step to the side, raise your arm up. Mm-hmm. And I throw, a full, I throw it pretty hard at your head. Yeah. And he just stepped aside, brought it up. I'm like, dude, I was coming almost full speed at you. And he's like, that was it? And I'm like, that was it. But that's so empowering. That's yep. so empowering because it takes the fear, like you, you have a thought that I could do something mm-hmm. about any situation. You carry yourself different, which also deters people from messing yep, with yep, you. Yep, like yep. it's a, your, all a trickling yeah. down. Yep. Welcome to American Masterminds where we do some kind of crazy stuff and some of those things might include learning about how to handle your relationships, making money, and being a better person in every realm of your life. You're going to have a good time listening to it. We're not professionals. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. Show up. Tune up. Click it. Thing in the thing in the thing. Mess that up. Subscribe.